a legend says that a son of the great Han Joshe of Golden Horde was hunting for the wild Kulans and he was so focused on shooting with his bow that a group of his escort remained far away behind. The leader of the wild Kulans, known as the Limt Kulan, strong and brave, who was not afraid even of wolves, suddenly turned around and attacked the hunter. His attack was so audacious and furious that Joshe fell off his horse, broke his neck and died. None of his escort and servants dared to tell the great Han of Golden Horde about his son's death. When someone was bringing bad news, the ancient tradition was to kill that person. And then the great singer, the wise elder Kedbuga, made a dombra out of a birch tree, pulled strings on it, came to the castle of the great Han and fell on his knees before his throne. The Han asked him gloomily, What do you want, great singer? But Kedbuga said nothing. He started playing the sad melody, Ku, on his birch dombra. The great singer finished playing his dombra without saying a single word, but the great Han and the others understood everything from that song. The Han was silent for a long time. Finally, he said, You brought me some very bad news about my son's death. I understood it by listening to your dombra. You earned death for the bad news. However, you said nothing, so your dombra will be punished instead. Fill its neck with liquid lead. Since that time, its flat side has a hole in it. Hi everybody, I'm Johnny Gaz. I'm coming here to Kazakhstan from Mumbai, India, in search for inspiration of the Kazakh folk music and the Kazakh culture. And to help me with this is my dear friend, Serik. Hi Serik, how are you doing? Hello. Hi everyone, I'm Nurmaldaev Serik. I'm a member of the folk and ethnographic ensemble Turan and I will be helping Johnny with his inspiration. Today we came to the ancient city of Taraz. And now, Johnny, we will literally touch the ancient history of Taraz. You can see the gates here. In the ancient time, these were the gates that led to ancient cities. Behind the gates, there are excavations right now. By the way, remember, I showed you some instruments in the museum? That's right. That's right. Those were the instruments found in ancient Taraz. Yeah, just looking at this gate, actually, I was just thinking, the gates, the city that's about 2,000 years old. I want to play an ancient cue to you. A legend about the Dombram. Well, I hope you heard the sound of hose and an arrow in its flight. I mean, I just told you the legend of the Dombra, so this melody gives you the picture of the story. I liked sitting on your guitar. <laughs> it's a nice seat sometimes. Okay, let's keep going. Well, Johnny, I brought you to the historical and cultural place of Taras. You can see the gates, Kun Taras Alim, which means the world of ancient Taras. Everything most interesting and most historical is in one park. Here we have our ancient jewelry. The jewelry. I've seen these, I've seen these in, the, in, the, in the museum. Yes, by the way, this is Balbal Tas. We can get closer. This Balbal reminds me of someone, Johnny. Are you sure? <laughs> it looks like me. 
but no guitar in his hands. Not that bulky, nice. He's got, his, he's, got, he's got the same kind of hair, the beard and the stash. Right, he looks just like you. This is very interesting. I like this. <laughs> I would like to show you Kazakhstan on a big globe that is also here in this park. Here is my endless Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a very rich country. You can see a lot here. You can see mountains here too. These are steppes and all green is the forests. Here is the sea. And there's not only nature, but diverse culture everywhere as well. Every city has its own culture. Every city has something to show and tell people. And your inspiration will be coming from the whole of Kazakhstan. They got quite a few cities, so we can go around. Yes. Go around the world. True. Around the Kazakh world. Let's keep going. Yes, let's, let's go. Let's go. To the next place. It's a beautiful park. This the park of love. True, you can say so. Park of love. By the way, I see some musical instruments there. Let's go check it out. Well, say, musical instrument. Mm -hmm. It's always interesting. Some people say it's the Dombra, others say it's the Cobus. Of course, the two of us know that it's Cobus. <laughs> right, good job. Do I see a stage or not? Oh, I see an amphitheater. A stage is ready for us everywhere. The stage is yours, Johnny. Let's do it together. Let's play something unusual. Let's improvise with some Indian melody. Indian, that's going to be very hard. Indian music is very complicated. Let's try. <laughs> Very beautiful. Music actually is, is, has to be from the song. A lot of people try to... Uh, music is what you, what you have with you. The more simple you make it, I think there is, there is, there is more soul to it. I totally agree. Here, Johnny, in a distance, you can see a monument to a great man. He's a great person, a famous person in the Jambul region. He was a long liver, by the way. The city itself used to have his name. This is Jambul Jabayev. Yes, he is one of the famous poets in Kazakhstan. The city was actually named after him. So he's the man. Well, the name was a few years ago. Now the city is called Taras. But the region is still called Jambul. Poet, singer, long liver, 99 years. You can also feel the spirit of freedom in his poems, just like what both of us just played. <laughs> this is the cultural center, the Jambul Regional Philharmonic Hall. Beautiful architecture. By the way, I called my friend. He promised to meet us. Here he is. Hi, Dida. <laughs> Johnny, let's go. This got really beautiful. Fantastic, fantastic. This is their concert hall, where they play, have rehearsals. Dida, I think you emptied this hall for us on purpose. 
No concerts today? See, they emptied it for us. <laughs> but I think we can feel this aura and improvise here. Can you feel it? Nice. How does it feel on the stage? It feels always good to be on stage. I like it too. <laughs> Wonderful work. This is how the, the guitar works with the damra. Yeah. <laughs> it's magic. Johnny, as you could see, the city of Taraz is rich in history, culture. By the way, we are getting close to Karahan's museum. The city of Taraz is 2000 years old and it survived a lot of epochs like that. In the 10th to the 13th centuries, Taraz was one of the points in the creation of Silk Road. Yes, and the Karahanids were the rulers of that time. And this is their ruler, Karahan. Yes, this is Khan. Okay, he was the king. He was the sultan, a Khan. This is Khan. Flowers. It means that we are getting closer to a great love story. Beautiful Aisha was a daughter of one famous rich man, Karaki Mata, who was called Zengi Baba by people, a student of Ahmed Yasawi. Karahan fell in love with 16-year-old Aisha from first sight. Beautiful Aisha fell in love with Karahan too. Aisha's father refused to let his daughter marry Karahan, who was a Han, but not from a noble family. The upset young man returned to his homeland. Aisha warned her mother Anwarana and got ready to go without her father's blessing. You shall cross six rivers, but will never cross the seventh, her father told her as she was leaving. Aisha crossed six rivers. She stopped before the seventh river, remembering what her father had told her. Her father's curse got true. A snake crawled from under a rock and bit her. Karahan came too late. He was shocked and heartbroken and ordered to build a mausoleum on a high hill in the place where his beloved beauty was buried. Therefore, he inscribed Aisha's name in eternity. Souls of love. In the city of love. And the ancient. <laughs> magnificent. And absolutely full of uh, wonder, Taras. <laughs> Johnny, we have a good tradition, and I will introduce you not only to our history, tradition and music of our culture, but also to the cuisine as well. I brought you to the Plov Center. Do you know what Plov is? Yeah, Plov is a, is a, is a rice dish that's, uh, with meat that's made all through the Silk Route. Now, I've checked out your shorpa here, your shorpa, and your mante. So yes, today we will try some plov. That's the real plov. Look, there are some large lumps of meat. <laughs> A lot of rice. Here you can see some kazing. Yes, the Kazakh traditional meal. Want some? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, this is chicken egg. And this is quail egg. Do you want to try it? You must try some kazi. And of course some meat. Some more meat. And some more meat. I like well, well, sorry, That's a big lump. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Of course, if you come to Taras, you have to try kebab. Look at them. Oh, lovely. I think this can be very fast. Now we will try them after plow. I will tell you now about one more cultural landmark that was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage. We came to the structure, a building, you can call it a castle, called Akertas. And it's called uh, what? Akertas. 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 This is truly beautiful. Look, a rock looks like an arch. Actually, uh, this is pretty hard to cut a rock in that shape, in that, in that century. I would make a throw. Do you want to make a throne for yourself out of the rock intended for an arch? Yeah. I just chill out on this one. Oh. It's uh. good to be king. An ah, Arabic king. It's good to be king. So I will be... Who will I be? I will be a brave knight. You'll be the knight. <laughs> you know, I have a weapon with me. It's my instrument. This is a very, this is a very, very dangerous weapon. I invite you for a flight. Johnny, do you get the point? Kytartas is when I start some Q and you have to continue it. And you don't have to continue it the way it was. You can change it as you wish. Let's do it. And then you have to transfer your melody to me. Let me get my pick out. By the way, this is a queue of a famous kushi in Kazakhstan, Kurmangazi, and it's called Adai. Exactly, Kurmangazi, Adai. Yes, that's the one you know and heard before. And it's the first time I heard this kind of it. Adai mixed with this style. <laughs> it is not the music. Mm -hmm. Music is like the breeze. Mm -hmm. You can hear it. 
Mm-hmm. You cannot touch it. Mm-hmm. You can see the instruments that are that are sounding, but then you need something behind the the, the, the thought process to process the fact that everything around here adds to what has just been happening. Согласен. Mm. Now this place is centuries, centuries older than. I mean, it's, it's some, some way back in time. It's like stepping into the into the past. Into the past. I mean, the eighth and the tenth century. That's all. That's, that, that's all. That, that's almost forever. Yeah, what you know. And now, when you come here, and you and you touch these stones, you sit, sit, and you get so personally close to them, and then you bring something that is absolutely. Like the wind, but you can't see, and you can't touch, but you can feel it and you can hear it. <laughs> so now this is the union of all that's happening. This is the chemistry, if I may say. Rahmat to you, my friend. Rahmat. Well, let's keep going. Where do we go from here? Johnny, we came to one of the most mysterious places in Kazakhstan. I would even call it a sacred place. Tektormas Mausoleum. This mausoleum was built in the 15th century. But until today, no one knows who built this mausoleum. Nobody knows this. Yes. The local people say that you can find some secret underground passages here. The whole city has passages and labyrinths. One of such passages starts here and leads to the other side of the city. You see here Taras can be clearly seen. But the people who wanted to somehow get closer to the legend, they say that here you can hear voices and see spirits. Well, the scientists say that UFOs can be seen here quite often. But this is one of such places, the place of pilgrimage. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Beautiful sun sunset, yes. Lovely sunset. I know what you need. Your guitar. Play. Oh, you want my guitar? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sarik. I was just thinking of a song. You know, there's a song that was uh, composed by Eric Clapton, and everybody knows the story of this one. And something. Eh? My dear friends, this was a fantastic day. Ancient Taras got me amazed with its beauty, history and incredible cuisine. The air itself is here, filled with legends, music and love. I will remember this trip forever, and Tsarik and I shall continue our travel around Kazakhstan. This country has become like a second home for me. Would you know my name If I saw you in heaven Won't it be the same I must be strong and carry on Cause I know I don't belong here in heaven Yes, I know to be 
me no more Tears in heaven 